Hey guys, what's going on? It's Louie Louie here back with another table tennis video. Today we're going to be going over how to play against those awkward long pips players. And when I say awkward, I'm talking about the types of players that pretty much do nothing but put their paddle in the way and they just let their pips do all the work for them. Normally these are people that have some sort of problem with technique or with recognizing spin, so they use their pips as a way to get around that. And if you don't know how to play against it, it can be extremely frustrating and confusing to play against. Before we get started, make sure to leave a like on the video because if you leave a like, no scam at all, you will get a free private table tennis lesson with Ma Long. That's right, click the like button and right after you finish watching the video, Ma Long will show up at your door and teach you how to play table tennis. Again, this is not a scam. On a more serious note, if this video can hit 200 likes, then I'll make a separate tutorial covering how to play against more orthodox pip styles, such as classic and modern defense. With that out of the way, let's get right into the video. When you're playing a pips player, it's important that you're not afraid of their pips because it's normally their weaker side and you can play there with no fear as long as you know what to do and what to expect. Long pips generally generate very little spin on their own, which means that when someone is blocking or bumping with them, they tend to act almost like a sheet of glass, reversing whatever spin you give them. If you play a top spin shot, it will come back with some underspin, and if you play an underspin shot, it'll come back with some top spin. Most importantly, if you play a no spin shot, it'll come back with little to no spin. The most important thing to realize when playing against this type of pips player is that it's you that's in control, not them. If you play to their pips and all they're doing is sticking their paddle in the way, they have no control over what spin is coming off their paddle. So what I'm going to do in this video is go over all the ways you can exploit this to generate easy and consistent points. The easiest way to rally with a pips block or bump is to alternate shots between a drive and a push as is being shown in the video right now. If I drive, the next ball comes back with some underspin and then I push, and then after I push, the next ball comes back with some topspin and I can drive again and so on and so on until they either make a mistake or they give me a loose ball which I can then put away. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and show just a couple clips from one of Andy's matches against a Pips player and um, just some points where he kind of uses this alternation between pushing and driving to um, keep himself in the rallies and win some points. So kind of pay attention to what he's doing and how the spin is being reversed every shot. So hopefully you kind of saw what's going on there and I'm replaying the clips right now so you can take one more look at them. As you can see Andy's just controlling the point all the way, um, maintaining control of the spin and the placement and as long as he's more consistent and doesn't try anything crazy or erratic he can generate a lot of points this way. This method of playing against pips is pretty basic but it does require a lot of consistency and a lot of patience. Now I'm going to go over some ways you can use your serve or serve return to either force your opponent to play this type of rally if it's what you're comfortable with or help you win the point more assertively with predictable setups for strong attacks. Let's go ahead and start with the ways you can serve to long pips. My favorite way to serve to pips blockers um, is with extremely heavy underspin because if you serve like this the ball is going to come back very arky and pretty slow but it's going to come back with some topspin and depending on your skill level you're going to be able to drive this ball or power loop through it 
The important thing to know and the thing that makes this uh, more difficult than it seems is that while the ball will have topspin on it, as I mentioned, it's going to have a very different trajectory to a normal topspin ball. It's going to be a lot slower, which means the spin is going to have more of an effect and drag it down more. So it's also going to kick up a little bit more. Um, so what you want to do is let the ball bounce and then let it come out to you. Let it rise and then once it's around its peak, you can play your shot. You can see with the graphics I've made the difference between a normal topspin ball against an inverted rubber, which is what's on the screen now, and now a topspin ball that has just been reversed from underspin into topspin from the pips. And now let me show you guys some video examples of me serving heavy underspin to the pips, it coming back with this kind of arcy trajectory, and then me playing a loop through the ball to win the point. Alright, so that was me serving underspin to the pips and hopefully you guys can see the effect. If not, then put the video in slow motion and you should be able to see how it kind of bounces and then kicks up. Um, I know the camera probably doesn't show it too well, but it bounces, it kicks up, um, slows down a little bit and then lets me go through it. Um, so now let me show you a few other clips um, with different serves and kind of the effect it'll have. Starting with me serving topspin and the ball coming back with underspin allowing me to play kind of a more textbook game where I can either loop um, the way I would normally loop against underspin or push if I want to rally. Alright, now here's some clips of me serving no spin. Of course, if I serve no spin to the pips, it's going to come back with pretty much no spin. Sometimes it could spin a little bit, but when it comes back, I can do whatever I want with the ball. Because of the minimal spin, I can push it, I can drive it, I can loop it. I am in complete control of the point from the second I serve the ball. All right, finally, let's go over serve return. You can pretty much do all of the setups you were doing with service during serve return as well. So you can push heavy to the pips and get an arky topspin ball back that you can hit. You can loop or drive and get an underspin ball back, which you can then loop or push. Or you can play it dead and get a dead ball back, which you can do whatever you want with. Um, whenever you're playing a pips player, you can pretty much do these setups whenever you want. Like you could be in the middle of a rally and then just decide to chop one as heavy as you can to the pips and then just finish off the point. And against a pips player, if they're only playing with the pips, you don't have to worry about serving short or anything. Um, you can serve long and fast and they're probably not going to hit it until they get to a really elite level. So anyway, um, go ahead and take a look at some of these serve returns and other points that I um, played out.
Alright guys, that's pretty much all there is to playing those really awkward, annoying, long pips players that just stick their paddle in the way. Um, it really is that simple, you just have to understand um, kind of what they're doing to the ball and how you can set yourself up for success and that you're always in control of the point. You just have to stay patient, don't do anything too erratic and um, go into matches against these type of players with a game plan and you should be able to win pretty comfortably. Um, that's all I've got for you guys today. Make sure to drop a like if you enjoyed this video because if we hit 200 likes then I'll go ahead and make a video on how to play um, proper pips players like defenders uh, and stuff like that. And also if you drop a like, like I mentioned before, you're going to get a free lesson with Ma Long. So you don't want to miss out on that opportunity. So make sure you hit a like. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more stuff like this. Um, leave any questions you have in the comments and I'll try to reply to you guys as soon as I can. And that's all I've got for you guys today. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, adios.